Hey, my name is Mike Panisi and I work at Boku. I train people about how to test front-end applications. In this screencast, I'm going to talk a bit about working with Amazon Web Services to set up a distributed stress test. What we'll do now is quickly run through creating an AMI with uh, Amazon. And so at a high level, what this is all about is we want to make a image that describes the stress testing machine. And so that way when we run our stress test, we can automatically make one instance of it, or we can make 10 instances of it, depending on how many clients we want to simulate and how, um, how much stress we want to put on our server. So what you'll do is you'll want to launch a new instance. And let me just fix this a little bit. So you'll have to bear with me here. Um, this interface is by no means responsive, and I've had to shrink things down a whole lot to get it all to fit. But um, basically, we're going to step through here and make an instance um, an, of an EC2 instance from which we can make our image. And as I point out in the blog post, most of this stuff can be free uh, if you're just signing up for AWS now. You get one year of free usage, and throughout the interface, it's careful to point out to you what options are available to you under the free usage tier. So as long as you stick within those guidelines, you won't be charged for anything. And that's great if you're just getting your feet wet and, like me, you're nervous about um, you know, being charged for things. So here, we're selecting the operating system for our image. And so I'm going to pick um, Ubuntu because I'm familiar with that operating system and also because with this star, it's eligible for free usage. So that's cool. Um, Um, here we could change the instance type if we wanted to. We could use a more powerful instance, but you'll see that only the micro instance, the smallest in instance, is el eligible for free usage. Um, and that's alright though because it's, it's more than enough what we need today. Then for these advanced options we don't really need to change anything. And here we're uh, choosing a key pair. So this is how we authenticate into our instances and um, you know the system can know that it's us using them and not someone else. Uh, so I already have a key that I made for my work with PBS but you'll likely want to create a new key pair, give it a name and then download it, save it somewhere locally safe uh, and that you can get to later um, and we'll see that coming up later when we actually run the stress test. But For me I'll use the one I already made and as we need to create a security group and this is just basically uh, kind of like firewall settings for your instance. Uh, and it's important in this case because we're we're going to be SSHing into our machines when we run the stress test and not directly we're going to be using this utility called bees with machine guns. But because that's using SSH under the hood, we'll want to make sure that uh, these machines have port 22 open. And there's actually a predefined rule for SSH, which is here. And we'll just ha be able to add it. We want to give this thing a name, so uh, stress test. Add the rule. Continue. Okay, and then uh, you'll select done, and uh, you'll launch an instance. So since I've already gone through this process, and since that takes a few minutes, I'm just going to skip over it. But suffice it to say, you'll click launch, you'll wait a few minutes, and then you'll have a new running instance listed in the dashboard here. So um, from there, you'll want to click on that instance, um, and let's see, select well actually let me not get ahead of myself. What you want to do there is use the uh, URL here to SSH into it directly and set it up the way that you need for um, your stress test simulator to run. So in my case and likely in your case it will be a Node.js app. So you'll want to install Node.js then you'll want to get your stress testing code onto there. And again, this, is, this would be a good time to go back to this article here and kind of review more detail about setting up the stress testing client itself. But again, what you're thinking about here is just making a, uh, an image from which you can kind of spawn a lot of instances later on. Once the image is prepared uh, to your liking, you can go ahead and right click on it in the interface and select create AMI and now Amazon will take some time to make an AMI based on that uh, EC2 instance and over in the AMI's tab you'll see that it's listed here and you can now use this to make as many instances as you need uh, kind of in an easy repeatable way. Next up we'll be covering actually uh, 
spinning up instances based on this uh, AMI and uh, using them in a real stress test. So uh, stay tuned.